Hello. I'm just going to jump on here and explain all the various appointments. So today we're going to explain the physical. So um, at if you're watching this, you um, have decided to become a practice member and your next step uh, is a physical. Uh, in your physical, um, it's not a traditional physical, by the way. Um, we have various different nuances to a physical. Um, and so I wanted to distinguish what the difference in a naturopathic physical versus your standard physical. Number one, um, we typically evaluate your living matrix in your physical. So make sure that you have completed your living matrix prior to your physical and have done so within a few days of um, your uh, actual physical. That way it gives me an opportunity to review it and look at it um, and evaluate it for you. I'll have a printed copy of your living matrix for you so that you can uh, review it for any uh, inaccuracies, uh, write on it, add to it, etc. Um, your living matrix is going to go over a pretty expanded health history. So we ask that you complete it over a few days. Um, and that way, it's not so much to try to crunch in in one day. It's going to ask for a lot of dates, a lot of information relative to um, even like your mother's health when you were in the womb, family health history, um, it, it, you know, any supplements, that you're on, any surgeries you've had. It's a very in-depth health history assessment. So I'm going to ask that you spend your time uh, kind of going through that um, and go through it judiciously. Um, do your best. If you can't remember dates and times, it's okay. Just try to be kind of roundabout with it. The more accurate you are, the more accurate the data is naturally, but it's so that we can generate that. So again, my job is to aggregate data. So I'm going to take subjective, meaning data that you give me um, based off of your recollection of your health history, and I'm going to aggregate that data to try to tell a story. So we want to get to causative pretty quickly. And so I'm going to evaluate that, go over your timeline with you, go over your matrix with you, ask any questions that I may have regarding your um, health history or your health habits, and then we'll immediately get into lifestyle and what lifestyle factors we need to address pretty quickly. Um, some of those lifestyle factors will be sleeping, um, your diet, water intake, stress management, and we'll see all of that within uh, your living matrix. Anything you want me to know about uh, working with you, um, please uh, indicate that within your living matrix. That's really, really important. The more honest you are, the better. I also am going to ask that you bring the names of any doctors that you have seen, uh, preferably within the last um, 10 years, uh, but it can really be any kind of, um, you know, time frame. Definitely your doctors that you currently are seeing, if you're seeing more than one, um, or even if you're just seeing one, your primary care, we would like to have you fill out healthcare release forms for us. So we get all of those, um, you know, medical records. And so we're all on the same page. Sometimes people will come in and they're working with multiple specialists. So they're working with, you know, cardiologist over here an endocrinologist over here, a rheumatologist over here, and nobody's talking to each other, and there's a lot of overlap in treatment. And so I want to make sure that I gather all of the medical history and evaluate it and look at it because I can find clues in it, and then also help um, kind of get everybody on the same page. Um, we will also put you on the metabolic health scale. So our body composition scale um, is going to assess for your total weight, uh, your total body water water, water inside of the cell, outside of the cell, your lean muscle mass, and then your body fat mass. It will also determine body fat and uh, lean muscle mass in all of your limbs, as well as your trunk. It will assess your visceral fat and also assess your metabolic rate, meaning how many calories you need to be consuming in one day. Um, and so we'll go over all of that, evaluate if you're fall risk, evaluate where you need to strengthen um, and where you need to lose uh, weight. Uh, that will definitely help. So that's our baseline assessment of our body composition. 
And then if we have time um, and I need to look at certain things, um, so, you know, let's say if you have a skin condition you need me to look at, or um, I need to look in your um, mouth, I'll also ask you about your preventative um, uh, doctor's appointments. Like, have you been to the dentist? Have you been to the eye doctor? Have you been to your OBGYN? Have you been to your primary care? And we'll review all of that information as well. So the physical is really an important tool that we utilize to really look at nutrient deficiency. So I'll look like, for instance, maybe I'll look at your nails, you know, see if there's mineral deficiencies. Um, also two food reactions can tend to show up. So there's all kinds of different nuances. Sometimes I'll need to do a physical, a actual physical, physical, sometimes not. Um, but we definitely go over your living matrix as well as body composition um, within your appointment. You can also just indicate in the living matrix any supplements that you're currently taking. If you want me to look at those things personally, please bring those with you um, in your physical and then we'll go over them. Uh, and so I think that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions between now and then, feel free to send me a message and then we'll respond before uh, your appointment.